really tell the difference. Oh, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all well. Today's video, I will be testing out the Dermacol Film Studio makeup cover, which I thought was perfect. I just finished filming a different look and it used a lot of glitter. So yeah, the glitter has irritated my skin. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity just to do a rate review on this foundation. It's very much seen on Facebook that it can cover tattoos. It's water resistant, SPF 30, um, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic. So let's try it out. I will put some primer on so it's a fair rate of review. So this is just gonna be a short and sweet video. I won't do a full makeup. I just wanted to test out this foundation. I swatched it on my hand and it is mega coverage, it's like, ridiculous so yeah let's just show you guys hopefully it will get rid of all the excess glitter that's still on my face everywhere in my highbrow and hopefully it'll get rid of the dark circles all these scars spots and all this redness that has the glitter irritated my skin so yeah and this shade is in to 09 and I got it off Amazon there was a link on Facebook that I seen but I didn't trust it that much so I wanted to get it from Amazon so I've put probably way too much on so I will just spread evenly around my face it's almost like a moussey cream it doesn't feel like a foundation it smells really good though probably the wrong shade as I ordered it online so I was blind by him. Right, so let's oh my god look at the coverage that it's almost like you gotta like swipe it and then blend it out. And basically this is what they apparently use on film sets etc to get that oh my god look like a ghost to get that flawless look on set in movies I'm just covering my lips so you can literally just say that I've turned into a ghost yeah it's actually not a bad shade for me picked really well actually I think maybe not maybe just slightly lighter and I saw also on Facebook that people use this to contour and highlight with I would say it would be too thick and heavy but I guess if you're going on set or something oh my God. yeah Oh my god. Okay, okay, so it's a bit. Mm -mm -mm. So you can see my look. That's all that I have left. So I used quite a lot. So this is what it comes out like. It creases a lot. Do a close up. And the eye area, see that? It creases a lot in my. Oh. It transfers a lot too, probably because I've got so much on. Creases in my eye, creases in my eyelid. So I would say if you've got nice, smooth, young skin, this will be perfect. But I think anyone that has mature skin or quite a few wrinkles, it would probably just enhance your wrinkles yeah it's creasing under my eyes already which isn't a good sign it's not set into my forehead wrinkles which is good i'd probably use it but just not as much as what i put on but again i've never tried it before 
I think this is literally like the world's most full coverage foundation. So my opinion on the Dermacol makeup cover, I would say is a good product for young skin, mature skin. I think it would definitely set into all the fine line and wrinkles, so definitely for younger skin. I would definitely use a primer before it if you have large pores because again it might set into your pores and I would also use just literally a pea tiny size amount and then add to it if you wanted to because it is very very full coverage so yeah hope you've enjoyed this rating review give it a thumbs up if you have don't forget to click that subscribe button and I'll see you next time bye